So just picked up this uh, guitar for a hundred bucks at Guitar Center the other day. It's a nice guitar for a hundred bucks. Now it's got a whammy bar and the whammy on this one isn't floating which means it comes back and rests on the body which for a beginner might be a better way to go because you can it, it's pretty solid that way and uh, there we go so basic things for taking your taking care of your guitar uh, I'm not one of these guys who has to have new strings like all the time but new strings are a joy new strings we like new strings that they, they ring so nicely but uh, so let's get started on this thing we've got steel wool we've got the only kind of strings to put on your guitar Diodarios and I say that because it's a good company with good people and when you you know when you when you find a company that you like supported by their products like Apple man I, I just I just love Apple products okay so Diodario only way to go uh, this is alcohol and I, I wouldn't try drinking this kind of alcohol because you'd probably die you know this is like uh, 99 percent alcohol and a crummy old rag so here we go take these dikes no offense and just get get rid of these strings I mean we could use the dikes or we could uh, unfasten them this way and I'm gonna just go ahead and do it this way because I'm going to make bracelets out of these strings and then uh, you know the bracelets you can make are really cool you go to like a craft store and pick up some some uh, some beads and you know wacky things to to put on them and uh, you make some really nice bracelets and then because I played this guitar my my vibes are in these strings you know which of course makes them more valuable so when you wear a, a bracelet that's got Raj's vibes in it, who knows? Who knows what it might do for you? At any rate, I'll probably edit this next part out while we're just wasting time. Although I could talk about the frog some more. Now, the frog is a very, very important thing. To be introduced to the frog is to be introduced to to a friend, a, a helper that's going to help you all your life. And uh, the FROG, of course, is an acronym for the Four Rules of Grace. And anytime you can bring more grace to a situation, that's what you want to do. So the Four Rules of Grace. Number one you take a breath of air and in that moment while you're taking that breath you are nothing more or less than a creature breathing so and for that moment nothing more or less than a creature breathing that's all there is to it pretty easy rule. So rule number two is during that breath uh, inhabit your whole body with your consciousness. Feel your consciousness in your the tips of your toes, the tips of your fingers, in your head, everywhere that is you. Put your consciousness in there. So you're feeling your whole body as one thing. Okay? Yeah, and that's easy to do, and it feels good to, to, to feel your consciousness everywhere in your body. As to number three, I don't know about you, but when I put my cats outside in the morning, they go outside and they, they don't do anything. They just go out there and they immediately just, their ears are going, 
They're listening as if their lives depend on it, because they do, for survival. And I, uh, I think that it does the same for us, that our lives depend on it too. Our lives, to be really quality, depend on us being aware. And I think the opposite of awareness is insanity. When you've got so much going on in your head that you can't function properly anymore. The opposite of insanity is med meditation. And when you take a breath and regard that as just a creature breathing, and when you have your consciousness fill your whole being, and when you listen as if your life depends on it, you are meditating, you are concentrating. Meditation is concentration. And there's no big secret, there's no mantra, secret mantra to memorize. Everyone meditates, you know, at, for small periods of time throughout their day, every day. Little, little pockets of meditation. There are comfortable existences where what's most important is that you spend some money and, and you know, buy some, buy some medicine for all the things that must be wrong with you. And, you know, all these things were programmed. Being aware is not a, a big priority. So we have lost our awareness. And because we've lost our awareness, we're not as great uh, at, at, at what we do. We don't need to be. We can, we can get by. And it's okay to get by. But the only trouble is, in the world of art, getting by is no fun. We want to excel. We want to find perfection in a vision that we had about something that we want to create, and then create that thing and have it conform to our vision. And to be able to do that is extraordinarily diff difficult, and it takes years and years of practice to be able to finally realize something that you ha have created that is beautiful. But when you can, when you can do that, then you know that you can do anything in life. And that's why if you don't make money at art, it doesn't matter, because you are winning a, a, a wealth that is undefinable and <laughs> invaluable. It's great. <laughs> okay, so the alcohol. Alcohol, uh, no, the alcohol isn't next. The steel wool is next. So, you know, this, I think this is a, it might be a brand new guitar, but it was obviously used a lot in the store because uh, there's a little bit of fretware. But the thing is, if you just, this is a four-aught steel wool, get the finest steel wool you can get. <laughs>